Listen to this. All right, and the last topic that I want to talk about a bit is the use of music in Giallo cinema and how it relates to our intended use of music in Bath Bomb. In the first video of this campaign pitch, the video about uh, violence in Giallo cinema, you may have noticed that the song that plays in the murder sequence from Deep Red is quite conspicuous, and it probably doesn't sound like the type of music you would expect to hear in that kind of a scene. Usually, in suspense scenes like that, you would expect to hear atmospheric music that usually just underlines the intended emotion and is not intended to be paid attention to. Instead, in Deep Red, Dario Argento chose to use a jazz and funk influence score played by progressive rock band Goblin, which was obviously very unusual and represents sort of the most experimental that filmmakers got with music in giallo cinema. We're not trying to go all the way in that direction. We're looking to fit in more with the um, Ennio Morricone area of Giallo film scores, which were still experimental, but were essentially jazz and lounge-based scores. Now, using jazz and lounge in horror was pretty unique in and of itself, but it wasn't as out there as the progressive rock scores that were purposely jarring and distracting. Another trend that we want to emulate is the trend of blurring the line between what is diegetic music, meaning music that the characters can hear in the scene. So like if they're listening to the stereo in a scene, the, the music on the stereo is diegetic. Or if there's a band playing in a scene, that the music that the band is playing is diegetic. Okay. Versus non-diegetic music, which is the music that only the audience can hear. So that would be your traditional film score uh, that the characters themselves can't hear. It's music that doesn't exist within the world of the film. So this was a trend that was used pretty commonly in scenes like this where you see a diegetic source for the song, the record player's diegetic source for the music, but the music itself also happens to match the intended mood of the scene. And we're looking to do that as well, but push it even further so that the one central scene of Bath Bomb, the bathroom scene, is accompanied by just one song, we see that song playing on a diegetic source, in this case a reel-to-reel -reel player, and it starts in a romantic mood like the scene does, but it continuously changes in order to follow the emotional beats of the scene. So it gets tense when the scene gets tense, it gets anxious when the scene gets anxious, etc., just like you would expect a non-diegetic score to do. Someone offered you a sum like that. To spend the night in bed with him. You'd accept it. What a bastard you are. And the other trend that we want to follow with this is the trend of featuring reel-to-reel -reel players. For whatever reason, they are all over the place in Giallo. 
there's countless films that have reel-to-reel -reel players. Sometimes they're playing music, sometimes they're playing a message that the killer has left the police. Sometimes they're playing a, a session that a psychiatrist has recorded with their patient. So as I said earlier, the song in Bath Bomb will be playing on a reel-to-reel -reel player that we can see in the bathroom. should do, I think. And I think that about does it. Thank you for watching and reading.